unbelievable. This is perfect. Client's gonna be thrilled. Told you, I got this. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. Can't you see we're in the middle of something? This is important. I just found out that they knew about this problem. What are you talking about? Heinz Auto knew about the recall on the car, and they decided to do nothing. They let tons of people get hurt because they thought it would cost more to fix the problem than to settle this in court. Take a look. Oh, okay, Greta, that's enough. Huh? When they get here, we do not need you talking about this. Yeah, we've got a settlement deal on the table. Are you kidding me? Now that we know about this, we can't proceed. <laughs> With the amount of money that's at stake? Right. As the lead counsel on this case, I'm gonna need to talk to them about this. What's going on? Are you gonna tell her, or should I? Tell me what? I've decided that you are not gonna lead this case anymore. What? That's not fair. I'm supposed to lead this case. I'm the one who discovered it. It's a better fit for your brother, based on his expertise. Aw, don't get all mopey on us now. It's a case about cars. Did you really think you were gonna lead it? I'll go talk to her. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, Wendy. Sorry. <sighs> Greta, can we talk about this? I don't want to talk to you. I know you're upset, but... Upset? Why would I be upset? Because you've chosen Luke over me ever since I can remember? That is not true. You've got to be kidding me! Ever since we were little kids, you always put him ahead of me. Do you remember my dance recital where I had that big solo? Oh, no, you wouldn't remember because you were too busy watching Luke sit on the bench at a basketball game. Sweetie. Or what about my 16th birthday? You drove him two hours to see his favorite band instead of being there for me. I waited up all night for you to watch me blow out my candles. He was looking forward to seeing that band for over two months. I... And that was more important than my birthday. Okay. I hear you. And I'm sorry. But business is business. We are going to get 10% of this settlement. That's a huge commission. But this is wrong. People got hurt and that company knew about it. Well, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but that company has made a very wise financial decision. <sighs> wow. I can't believe you just said that. What happened to you? When the three of us started this firm, we agreed that we were gonna be different than every other law firm. That we were gonna stand for something. You shouldn't put profit over people. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Now you, and many women, have a tendency to get over emotional. And I cannot afford to take any chances with this case. You understand what 10% of 25 million is, don't you? So look, all you gotta do is find a way to be a little more understanding. So, what's this good news that you've been so excited to tell us? I spoke with plaintiff's counsel, and um, I was able to get them to settle for 25 million. 25? <laughs> really? Well, that's, uh, I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> yeah, we estimated it was gonna cost us at least 50 million. How'd you do it? My son here worked his magic for you. It's impressive. Yeah, I let them know that even if they think they can build a compelling case, there's absolutely no way they could compete with Cormac attorneys at law. That's right. Told them I'd shove them with a hundred boxes of discovery. Their office would never be able to keep up with us. <sighs> Look, I can't tell you how much of a relief it is to hear that. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, we were worried. You show those photos to a jury and dead meat. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. No, you don't. All taken care of, thanks to Luke Cormac. Well, we appreciate it. It's a major victory for us. But not for the victims. I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. She's just a associate on the case. Greta, just step outside with me, please.
come here. What are you doing? We have a settlement. And? And that's great for the firm. Do you have any idea how much new business we're gonna bring in after word gets out? Great, then we'll get more clients that wanna scam their customers. Have you looked at the photos? I don't think you're hearing me. There is a lot of money at stake here. I cannot have you screw this up. It doesn't matter how much money. Besides, at the end of the day, it's just a tax write-off for them. What happened to those innocent people will stick with them forever. Look. I don't need this right now. Dad, this is wrong. We need to help them. You take the rest of the day off. Go home, clear your head. It's not gonna change anything. I'm not okay with this, and if you're going through with this, well then- Then what? Then I'm out. What does that mean? It's the same thing all over again. You always side with Luke. Oh, enough of that. Are you gonna let the big guy get away with this? Or are you gonna do what's right? I knew it. Why am I not surprised? I quit. Greta, come on. Dad, we you back inside for the meeting. Yeah. It's come to my attention there's a settlement on the table, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. We've agreed on a settlement of $25 million. And you've spoken to and advised your client on this? Yes, Your Honor, we have agreed to no. this. We don't agree. What is she talking about? I thought we had an arrangement. Hey, what happened to the deal? It's all right. We'll work it out. It's all right. We don't agree to the settlement. Hey, we talked about this. This is the best deal for you. I don't think it is. My lawyer is incorrect. We won't be moving forward with this deal. You're making a huge mistake. I don't believe we are. We refuse to settle. And actually, we already hired a new lawyer to represent us. That's outrageous. Who? Me. Oh. What in the world is going on here? It's all right, we'll get to the bottom of it. Your Honor, if I may address the jury. Greta, what are you doing? What's right? Members of the jury, I have a question for you. What is more important, profit or people? Today, I will be proving to you that Heinz Auto knew about the defects of their latest model, and yet they decided to turn a blind eye. Why, you may ask. Because they decided that it would be more profitable to write off people's lives than it would be to issue a recall and fix the problem that they knew would severely harm their customers. Exhibit A. We have email communications from the corporation's CEO in which he learned of the defects, looked at the numbers, and deliberately decided that he would rather watch people suffer than to risk losing millions of dollars worth of profit. But is that profit worth this? Irreversible damage. And these are quote unquote the lucky ones, or in more direct terms, the ones who survived. Thank you. Please make her stop, isn't that your sister? She's not gonna listen to me. Now, I want you to imagine that it was your brother driving that car, or your sister, your mother, your father, your friend, your spouse, or your child. Now, I want you to imagine what it would feel like if you knew that a corporation worth over a hundred billion dollars wasn't willing to issue a recall because the life of your loved ones, the life of their undervalued customer was worth less than the money it would cost to secure their safety. But this is bigger than just the victims of Heinz Auto. This is reflective of what's wrong with our society as a whole. A society that puts a price on people's lives. And this is our chance to prove that this kind of mentality isn't just wrong, but it shouldn't be accepted or tolerated. And I'll prove to you that during this case, no one 
should put profit over people. Are you serious? It'll be fine. I'm going to take care of this. I will talk to the judge. Order! Well, this is going to be an interesting case. Shall we begin? Greta approached the jury with nothing but cold hard facts and artfully defended the victims with passion and regard for their humanity. A well-deserved win and proof that there is still good in this world. The prosecution refused to settle and should be used as a model for all others who find themselves caught in similar situations. Here's to Greta. To Greta. I mean, for fighting for us and making sure the little guy won. Thanks, guys. You deserve better than to just settle. And I'm glad I could help in any way at all. You are both incredibly strong to even want to take them on in that courtroom. Seriously? Thank you for helping us. Everyone else told us to take the money. But you saw how much it affected us. And you didn't turn a blind eye like Heinz Otto did. It really means the world to us. Here's the check. You take as long as you need. I got this. <laughs> you sure? My treat. <laughs> Feel free to head out and enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs> you really are the best, Greta. We'll see you again. <laughs> Bye. I'll take that. Oh, thanks. You can keep the change. Wow. Thank you so much. You have a good night. Uh, I'll be here a little longer. I have another client coming. Hey, Gretz. Surprised to see you here. Thought you only did client meetings at Giuliani's. We're cutting back on the budget a bit. Plus, your office told us we could find you here, so we thought we'd come by early to congratulate you. Oh, I thought you'd be mad. Well, we were not happy with the outcome. But I must say, I'm very proud of you. I appreciate that. I don't think you've ever said that before. Take care. Wait, uh, we wanted to talk to you about this new case we're working on. Yeah, I'd like you to lead it. What case? It's the CEO of Howard Construction is being sued by some of his employees for negligence. It's a big class action suit. Thought it'd be right up your alley. You're right. It's absolutely up my alley. Okay, great, then well, let's meet Well, you actually didn't let me finish. The prosecution already reached out to me. Oh, there's my client now. Wait a minute. Why are you representing people like them when you can make so much more representing the big corporations? Sorry, but my morals come first. Let's just say I believe in putting people over profit. Nice to meet you. Hey, Alex, Sam. Listen, we are very sorry about the way that case turned out. But we're going to start work on an appeal right away. Don't even bother. You cost us 100 million. That's twice the amount we anticipated. We're going to be working with a different law firm on an appeal. Congrats. You just lost the best clients you could have had. Um, yeah, let's have a table. All righty, there's a booth right over there. Have a seat. Get your eggs and your pancakes? Can I have a milkshake, Mom? One chocolate milkshake, please. I want a milkshake, too. I think you already know the answer to that. No. But how come he gets to have pancakes and a milkshake? Because I am his real mom. Well, where's my real mom? She gave you up. <laughs> 